In the mythological world of ancient Greece, where gods and mortals coexisted, Zeus reigned supreme as the king of the gods. His power was unmatched, his wrath feared by all who dared to defy him. This is the story of how Zeus unleashed his fury, reminding both gods and mortals of his formidable might. For centuries, Olympus had enjoyed a period of relative peace. The gods and goddesses were content, and the mortals below worshipped them with devotion. Zeus, seated on his golden throne, watched over the world with a sense of pride and satisfaction. His rule was just, and his power ensured order among both divine and mortal realms. However, this tranquility was not destined to last. Beneath the surface, discontent brewed among some of the younger gods and goddesses. They whispered of change, of a new order, where they could exercise their own powers without the overshadowing presence of Zeus. Prometheus, a titan known for his cunning and intelligence, was one of those who harbored such thoughts. He had always been sympathetic to the plight of mortals and often defied Zeus to aid them. His most notable act of rebellion had been stealing fire from the gods to give to humanity, an act for which he was punished severely. Despite his punishment, Prometheus continued to plot against Zeus. He believed that the gods should be more benevolent and less tyrannical. Gathering a small but determined group of gods and titans who shared his vision, Prometheus set his plans into motion. Prometheus's first act of defiance was to steal Zeus's thunderbolts, the source of his immense power. With the help of Hephaestus, the god of blacksmiths, and Hermes, the god of thieves, Prometheus managed to infiltrate Zeus's armory and escape with the thunderbolts. The theft did not go unnoticed. Zeus, sensing the loss of his precious weapons, was enraged. His fury shook the very foundations of Olympus. He summoned the gods to his throne room, his eyes blazing with anger. When Prometheus's betrayal was revealed, Zeus's wrath knew no bounds. Zeus declared war on the rebellious gods and titans. The heavens roared with thunder, and lightning split the sky as Zeus unleashed his fury. With his remaining power, he called upon the forces of nature to aid him. Earthquakes shook the ground, storms ravaged the seas, and mountains crumbled under his wrath. The rebellious gods, despite their cunning and bravery, were no match for Zeus's unleashed power. One by one, they fell before his might. Prometheus, realizing the futility of his rebellion, fled but was eventually captured by Zeus himself. Zeus, in a display of his absolute authority, devised a new punishment for Prometheus. He was bound to a rock on Mount Caucasus, where an eagle would feast on his liver every day, only for it to regenerate each night. This eternal torment served as a reminder to all who would dare challenge the king of gods. With the rebellion quashed, Zeus turned his attention to restoring order. He decreed that the gods must once again adhere to the divine laws and respect his authority. Mortals, who had witnessed the devastation of the gods' conflict, renewed their worship of Zeus, hoping to appease his anger. Zeus's thunderbolts were recovered and his power was fully restored. He reaffirmed his role as the protector and ruler of both the divine and mortal realms. His wrath, though terrifying, served as a reminder of the consequences of defiance. The story of Zeus Unleashed became a legend, passed down through generations. It was a tale of power, rebellion, and the unyielding authority of the king of gods. Mortals and gods alike learned to respect and fear Zeus, understanding that his wrath, though seldom seen, was a force of unparalleled destruction. Zeus's reign continued, marked by a renewed sense of order and reverence. The rebellion of Prometheus and the subsequent punishment served as a cautionary tale to all who would consider defying the will of Zeus. And so, the king of gods maintained his rule, his power unchallenged, and his authority absolute. Zeus Unleashed, the wrath of the king of gods, is a story of divine power and the consequences of rebellion. It is a reminder that even in a world of gods, there is a supreme ruler whose wrath can reshape the very fabric of reality. Zeus's legacy endures as a testament to the enduring might of the king of gods, whose fury, once unleashed, could bring even the bravest of deities to their knees.